Hello, football fans. Hello, football fans. Welcome to Brit, Iowa. The first round playoff action between the Gala Catholic Jays and the West Hancock Eagles. We are here at the historic Bob Sanger Field. Beautiful evening for football. It's about 65 degrees. I don't think we're going to have as much monsooning going on as we did last week, so it should be a beautiful night for football. We will be back in a couple of minutes. We have a few moments for minutes from our sponsors. We're watching for the When you go home, you'll feel good about what you did, and you know, you're doing it for the kids. If they don't have us, they don't have these games. And Eagles of West Hancock. We have a phone that's been found. If anybody's missing one, U.S. Cellular. Try it. I think you really like it. I, I tried it, and so here I am, 17 years later. I, I love it. There's two things we can control every morning when we wake up. All right, there's two things, don't take any athletic ability, it's attitude and effort. Let's get started here, let's go, let's have a day. Welcome back, Britt, Iowa, Bob Sanger Field. First round playoff game between the Galen Catholic Jays and the West Hancock Eagles. West Hancock comes in ranked number three in the state with a seven and one record. Galen Catholic comes in with a record of four and four on a three game winning streak to be able to get into the playoffs. Playing some good football right now. Both teams are known for their rushing attack can throw it when they need to, but would most likely enjoy running the ball as much as they can here this evening. We're about 10 minutes from kickoff. When it's time to choose a bank, the choice is easy. Prime Bank is the bank for you. With all the conveniences you want in a bank, including a mobile app and online account opening, Prime Bank also offers you pick checking with no monthly fees or minimum balances. And the best part is you get paid for everyday banking transactions. That's right. Prime Bank's you pick checking. We pay you for your everyday checking account transactions. Choose Prime Bank. It's the bank for you. Earn more your way with Prime Bank. Member FDIC. Sitzman Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done, when you need it done. Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build, and they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 712-540-2731. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help. And helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. 
that was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. The Monsignor Lafferty Tuition Foundation awards tuition scholarships to students that attend a Catholic school in the Diocese of Sioux City, including Galen and Spalding Catholic. By contributing to MLTF, donors are eligible to receive a 75% tax credit from the state of Iowa. There are no other charitable gifts that offer you a credit like that. It is also the perfect time of year to consider a gift of grain to MLTF. You can find more information at scdiocese.org under the Giving tab. Consider the gift of Catholic education. By the West Hancock Pet Band, under the direction of Miss Bethany Tooley. Please remain standing until the colors exit the field. Since the 1980s, Colbeck Incorporated has been a family-run business providing their customers with quality wood and feed grinding services throughout Northwest Iowa. Colbeck Incorporated knows that your time is valuable and they pride themselves on getting the job done in a prompt and reliable fashion. Local cattle feeders have been relying on Colbeck Incorporated hay grinding for 30 years and Brian and Kevin are proud of their partnerships they've built with their customers. Whether it's grinding, mulch, or hauling, call Colbeck Incorporated today and see what they can do for you. Marcus Lumber's showroom offers you an experience like no other. So when you're thinking of replacing your windows, Marcus Lumber is sure to help add clarity for the decision best fit for your home. Featuring Thermotech Premium Windows, they will show you quality, energy-efficient options. Made in the upper Midwest, Thermotech knows a thing or two about the temperature extremes that we face. So expect more energy savings, more beauty, and more comfort with Marcus Lumber and Thermotech. Motec Windows. Linebacker, number two, Jake Bogan. Head linebacker, number five, Dylan Pekus. Welcome back. Head linebacker, number We just 10, had the Cole national Carter. anthem. Head Captains will be going back, out to 11, midfield shortly. We're about five minutes away from kickoff back, 21, here at Bob Harrison. Sanger Field in Britt, Iowa. Back, for the first round of the Dale, Class A playoffs the line, between the 50, West Hancock Dave Eagles Wilson. and the also Galen Catholic Jays. William Harpenow on the line, number 60. We Noah talked a little Nellis. bit earlier about both teams definitely wanting to run the ball. Heard a little nugget up in the booth the line, that both Ray teams Archie. are 85% at Ray least Ray running Ray the ball Ray this Ray season. So we don't really expect a lot of balls Ray being Ray thrown Ray in the Ray air Ray tonight. Ray that's true. You could be throwing That's a curveball here and there. Sheller, pregnant. Hector, number 57, David Smith. Hector, number 55, Hayden Douglas. Hector, Got a pretty nifty lineup on the scoreboard with Hector, their pictures and their names and their positions and their numbers and their grades. Pretty nifty. On the other end, number 31, Zach Bukema. 
At halfback number 43, Kellen Smith. At halfback number one, Jackson Peterson. At fullback number seven, Kale Zulu. And the quarterback for the Eagles, number 15, Mitchell Smith. The Eagles are coached by Mark Sanger and assisted by Kevin Eisman, Paul Francis, CJ Cameron, Ryan Johnson, Brady Wilson, Stacy Gopal, and Seth Gopal. We'd also like to thank our athletic tra trainer, James Longo. Good sportsmanship is part of competition at West Hancock High School. In addition to our players and coaches pursuing victory with honor, we invite all our spectators to hold themselves to a high level of conduct by being positive role models. What do you usually pick? Heads or tails? On behalf of the students at West I'm Hancock, a big heads guy. Enjoy the contest. Yeah. Tails always fails. Got to rock heads. Atletico is proud to be the official provider of physical therapy and athletic training for West Hancock High School. Again, our athletic trainer tonight, James Lango. It appears as though Galen Catholic will receive the opening kickoff. And they will be going from right to left as you're watching. I am not good with directions, so I don't know. I'm gonna well it was the sun was setting that back there. So yes, south to north. Good call. Deductive reasoning right there. The Jays will be receiving and defending the South Goals. Eagles will be kicking off defending the North. Two brains are better than one. We will be back to legendary Bob Sanger Field and Brett for tonight. Looks like number 57, David Smith, will be kicking it away David for Smith. the Eagles. Once again, we thank uh, Jeremy Schindler, the head coach of the Jays, for joining us on our Friday Night Football <laughs> show, giving you uh, the rundown on this matchup. Game <coughs> of Catholic 4-4, four 4-2 four, four on Class A District 1. Finishing third in the district, West Hancock is the number three ranked team in the state. The Jays come out on the field. It looks like Landon Ryder and Kale Pearson will be back deep to receive the kickoff of St. Anne's Gurk. Galen to get Catholic this first round game underway. I love the call, especially when you hear Coach Schindler talk about it each and every he, week. Uh, our best defense is our offense. And and what he means is as long as you can keep the opposing offense off the field, you can do so many great things. You can take the clock down. You can score uh, after a long drive. You can do so many great things. West Smith Hager gets the kick up in the air. We are underway. Ball bounces out of bound at the 25. So that will be a procedure penalty. The Jays will get the ball to start in pretty good field position. As again, they want this football first. They want to make a statement on the offensive side of the ball, and we'll see if they can get that. Maybe first and ten, Jays at their own 35-yard line. Jays, Kale Pearson, his running back, Dylan Pegas, his tight end, wide receivers, Landon Ryder, Brank Klein, and Chance Kelson. Across the line, Gabe Wilson, Will Harpin, on Dane Lehman. After the penalty, the Jays will begin first and ten starting this at their own 35-yard line. Yard line. And they'll spot it on the left hash. The Jays come out of the huddle with four wide receivers. McCarty and Pearson in the backfield. McCarty takes the snap, hands to Pearson up the middle. He has a nice hole there. Gets up to about the 39. Gain of four. Nice start for the Jays on offense on their first carry of the game. Nope. Uh, many times it's been either Kale Pearson or Kale Pearson. It was Ball both six and, and, and again, a good time on the Jays come out. Jays come out. Two receivers out. both sides. Pearson behind McCarty in the pistol formation. Out of the pistol formation is McCarty the takes the snap, the fakes the handoff, rolls to his, to his right, throws it out, has it's a guy. Landon Ryder catches it and gets across the 40 to about the 42. Gain of a few. That's a nice little wrinkle right there. Brings up third and manageable. Third about four. 11 minutes to go here, first quarter. 
It sets up third down and manageable here for Galen Catholic. It'll be third down and three. Ball spot at the Galen Catholic 42. Jays break the huddle. Ball on the Jays 42. Two receivers both sides. Pistol formation again in the backfield. McCarty takes a snap, fakes the handoff, rolls left, throws it out, has a man just high. Pecos had a shot at it, just through his hands. It'll be fourth and three at the 42. So the Jays have already doubled their pass attempts from last week. They only threw the ball once against Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Very understandable, of course, due to the uh, uh, mini hurricane we had in Hartley. Landon Ryder will go back to punt this one. Kellen Smith and Mitchell Smith back deep to receive the punt from Landon Ryder of the Jays. Snap is good. Ryder takes the snap, gets a running start, gets it high, bounces at the 25. Takes a little bit of an Eagles bounce. Gets to about the 26 or so. And that's where the West Hancock Eagles will take over for their first possession. 10-27 remaining first quarter. Let's see if the Jays defense can do what the Eagles defense did. Get a three and out. The Eagles come out in a wing T. Smith takes the snap, hands it off. Gets a gain of about four. Kale Zool with the carry for the Eagles. Gain of about five. It'll be second and five at the 31. Second down and five here for West Hancock from their own 31. Again, that Smith takes the snap, hands it off to the left this time. Kellen Smith gets across the 35. Gets out to about the 39. Nice run there by Kellen Smith. It'll be first and 10 Eagles at their own 39. 9.51 to go, first quarter. First down and 10 for the Eagles from their own 39. Smith takes the snap, hands the Zool up the middle. Nice tough run there, gain of a few. Gabe Wilchin with the stop for the Jays defense. Smith takes the snap, hands the Zool again over the right side, spins off a guy, gain of about four or five there for their offense. Ball marked at the 48. Coming up on nine minutes to go. Eagles offense does not wait around for the next play. They get in the huddle. They get the call. They break the huddle. Smith takes the snap. Hands to Zool over the left. Gets across the 50, across the 45. Takes a few Jays on a ride. Gets down to the 40 of the Jays before he's finally brought down. First and 10 at the Jays, 40. 8.45 to go, first quarter. Smith takes the snap, hands to... Yep, Kellen Smith that time. Mitchell Smith to Kellen Smith. Gain of a couple. Nice job by Will Harpenau on the stop for the Jays. Smith takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Has a man across the 10. There was a lot of action there in the backfield, but it ended up being Jackson Peterson who had the ball for the Eagles. Takes the ball for about a 38-yard touchdown, so it is 6-0 Eagles. Eagles. 
took me a while to figure out who had the ball there. There's a lot of misdirection in the backfield on that play. Looks like they're going to be going for two. The Eagles have a shotgun formation. Smith takes the snap. Does a quarterback keeper up the middle. We're going to see where the official spots him. It looks like he's short. So the Jays make a stop on the two-point conversion. So with 8.04 to go first quarter, it is West Hancock 6, Galen Catholic 0. We'll be back in one minute. You're watching Floor Digital Solutions. Whether you are combining, hauling grain, or heating your home, fuel powers the fall. When it comes to energy, you need a company who is trustworthy, understands your needs, and who delivers to you. A company who is local, reliable, and affordable. That company is Ag State. Ag State Energy is clean, comfortable, convenient, while staying competitively priced for our customers. Give Laura Sanguin or Seth Duff a call for all your energy needs. At Floyd Valley Healthcare, we want you to travel somewhere fun, not to a doctor's appointment. Specialists, specialty clinics, and outpatient services bring advanced skills and training and make diagnostics and treatment capabilities more accessible keeping care convenient and close to home. Working in step with your healthcare team, specialists communicate and collaborate to provide you and your family the care that you need. To learn more about specialty services, talk with your provider or visit floydvalley.org. Welcome back, Britt, Iowa. Bob Sanger Field, 6-0 West Hancock. Kick is away, bounces at the 20. Kale Pearson picks it up at about the 18. Just chugs forward to about the 23, 24 yard line. Galen Catholic will start their second possession. 8.02 remaining here in the first quarter. See if the Jays' offense can respond. Jays come out of the huddle with two receivers on both sides. Pearson offset to McCarty's left. McCarty takes the snap, hands to Pearson up the middle, makes a cut at the 25. Falls forward to about the 31. Nice first down carry there by Kale. Be second in about three or four for the Jays. Jays break the huddle. Double stack wide receivers. Pistol formation. McCarty takes the snap. Fakes the handoff to Pearson over the left. Makes a cut up field. Breaks an arm tackle and gets across the 45 for a first down for the Jays. Nice run there by Cole. It'll be first and 10 Galen at their own 36. 7.15 to go, first quarter. Jays have trips near side. McCarty has Pearson in the pistol. Takes a pitch to Kale. Goes over the left side. Tries to get outside. And is met there by number 25. Number 26, Brady Bixel. Nice job there, setting the edge by Brady. Not letting Kale get outside of him. No game. Jays have the double stack receivers and the pistol. McCarty takes the snap, rides Pearson up the middle. Kale met at the line of scrimmage. A few Eagles were there. Looks like David Smith and Shaler Pringnitz were a couple of the Eagles there. Brings up third and ten. 5.50 to go first quarter. 
We have a more traditional four receiver set to each side with Pearson in the pistol behind McCarty. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls right, tries to go upfield and is brought down just about the line of scrimmage, maybe a gain of one. It'll be fourth and long for the Jays. Mitchell Smith and Kellen Smith back to receive the punt from Ryder of the Jays. Snap is good. Ryder with the rollout, and it looks like he's going to try to run for it for the first. He's got a nice block, and he gets up to about the 50. Great play there by Ryder, seeing he's got some room out there to run. Good call there by Coach Westoff. Talked to him a couple days ago about the special teams, and he said he might try to sneak one out there if he had the right look. Must have liked what he saw on the right side. Gets out to midfield. Keep the offense on the field. Nice blocking by the Jays there, too. All that room can go away real quick if the people on the outside aren't blocking for you. Double stack wide receivers. McCarty takes the snap, hands the Pearson up the middle, has a lane. Gets across the 45, down to about the 41 of the Eagles. Nice hole there that he got to run through by the offensive line. It'll be second and short for the Jays. 4.30 to go. Jays break the huddle. Four receivers. Pearson to McCarty's right. McCarty takes the low snap, fakes the handoff, tries to throw, hit as he throws. Fall, ball falls incomplete. 33 had the pressure there. Nolan Vasky came right up the middle. Did not give McCarty much time to see what was going on. Brings up third and one from the Eagles 41. Wonder if they've got two downs to get one yard here. McCarty takes a snap, hands to Pearson right up the middle, lowers his shoulder, gets across the 40, enough for the first down. Kale knew where he needed to get to get the first down. He just lowered his shoulder and got in there. It'll be first and 10 Jays at the Eagles 39. About four minutes to go here, first quarter. Bob Sanger Field. Having a nice responsive drive here after the Eagles touchdown. It's first and 10 from the Eagle 39. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls left, has a man. Chance Cowson has the reception, gets down to almost the 30. Nice gain on first down there to make it second and short. Oh, yeah. McCarty rolled out to his left, saw a man coming, got it, out, got it away early. Means a first down pass for a team that has only thrown the ball on an average about to six times a game. Second Jays come two, out. Play clock's down to seven. Double stack Slide wide receivers. Pearson with the pistol. McCarty takes the snap, snap, fakes the handoff, Pearson. keeps it himself up the middle, has a mitt, gets across the 20 to the 10, gets brought down, it breaks the plane. Cole McCarty fakes the handoff to Cale Pearson, pulls the ball, cuts up the middle for a 31-yard touchdown. Great read there by Cole McCarty. Great response by the Jays' offense. Cole McCarty with his ninth touchdown run of the season. 
Will Harpinov will attempt the point after kick. Snap is bad. Ryder picks it up, tries to roll it to his right, is brought down in the backfield. That was doomed from the beginning with a poor snap. But with 2.56 to go, first quarter, Galen Catholic is tied with the West Hancock Eagles at six. We'll be back in one minute. We're watching Four Digital Solutions. All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. AgriVision Equipment and Exact Emerge Planner Technology is here to help you maximize your yield and efficiency, along with a proven 8 bushel per acre yield advantage because of the pinpoint accuracy of seed depth and placement. You can cover 50 acres per hour without compromising your stand. We know the risk of planting outside the optimal planting window, so don't let the weather control your bottom line. When you partner with AgriVision Equipment, you get access to the best service and technology support in the area. And visit any one of our 15 locations today to learn more about our large selection of new and used planters. AgriVision Equipment, focused on your future. Welcome back to Britt, Iowa. 2.56 to go first quarter. Galen, Ta Galen Catholic and West Hancock tied at six. We have Jackson Peterson and Kellen Smith back deep for the Eagles. We have Dylan Pekas set to kick it away for the Jays. Balls away. It bounces at about the 15. Smith picks it up at about the two. Looks to the right, cuts back to the left, cuts up the middle. Gets up to about the 22. Nice return for what that could have potentially been disastrous. Yep. So it'll be first and 10 Eagles at their own 22 to start their second possession of the game. Eagles break the huddle. From their own 22. Mitchell Smith set to take the snap. Takes the snap, hands it over the left side to Kellen Smith. Gets up to about the 30. Right side, sorry. Directions are hard. The Eagles offense moves really fast, so when I just say words, I hope they're right. They bring up second and short. Call it about two. At their own 30, 31. Smith takes the snap, hands it to the left, to Zool. Met at the line of scrimmage, but breaks a couple arm tackles and gets it out to the 35 for a first down. He's hit there by Harpenau. 2.12 to go in the first quarter. West Hancock comes out. Smith takes the snap, hands it to Jackson Peterson over the left. And the defensive end of the Jays there had a nice job of keeping the end. Able to bounce around for a gain of about one. Nice misdirection by the Eagles, but the Jays were able to stay home. Bring them second and nine. One thirty to go, first quarter. Smith takes the snap, drops back to pass, loses his footing, throws it, has a man caught on the left side, number 31. 31? No. 31. I don't know. I don't have him on my roster, but nice catch by 31. Sorry, Zach Bukema. Nice catch there. Nice play call by the Eagles. It'll be first and 10 Eagles at the Galen Catholic 39. And then nearly slipped and fell. First down and 10 now for West Hancock. Yes, it was. We have a shotgun formation. Hands it to Kellen Smith. Tries to go to the right, then cuts it up the middle. Gain of about one. Gabe Wilchin with the stop by the Jays. 
Bring up second and ten. One minute remaining, first quarter. One minute. One minute to go in this first quarter. It's West Hancock six, Galen Catholic six. The Eagles now with second down. Eagles break the huddle. We have another shotgun formation by the Eagles. Smith takes the snap, has a quarterback power over the left, bounces off a couple men, runs into his own man, taking a guy for a ride down to about the 14. That was a nice, powerful run there by the Eagles quarterback. It'll be first and 10 at the Jays' 15. 30 seconds to go here, first quarter. Eagles break the huddle. Another shotgun formation. Smith takes a snap. Another quarterback power over the left. Has the edge. Gets down to about the five. Nope, that's the ten. He gets down to about the seven. And that will probably be the end of the first quarter with five seconds to go. And there is the time. So after one, it is a tie ball game here in Brit with the Eagles six and the Jays six. We'll be back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. We're back. Uh, they decided that they wanted to call a timeout with four seconds remaining, so we will have one more play at this end of the field. Smith takes the snap, takes the quarterback power over the right, is met at about the five, falls forward to about the four for a first down. See where they mark the ball. Might have been a flag late. We have the officials talking to each other. We have face mask on the defense, so that will probably be a half the distance to the goal. So does that mean we will go away for the end of the first quarter? We'll be back in one minute. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. Reliance means being dependable. And when it comes to comfort in your home, you want Reliance from a place you can trust with a product you can count on. That's why Marcus Lumber stocks Reliance brand water heaters. Because with Reliance in the name, it's the brand you can trust. Marcus Lumber has been stocking and installing Reliance water heaters for decades. So choose the name you trust for your home. Choose Marcus Lumber and Reliance water heaters. And we're back in Britt, Iowa. Bob Sanger Field. After one, the Eagles and the Jays are tied at six, but the Eagles are threatening. There was a defensive face mask at the end of the first quarter, which makes it first and goal Eagles at the Jays' three-yard line. See if the Jays' defense can bow up or if the Eagles can punch this in and get the lead back. First down and the face mask penalty. Mitchell Smith goes under center. Mitchell Smith takes the snap, hands it to the fullback, Zool, who punches it over the left side for the touchdown of three yards. So that'll make it 12 6, Eagles. Eagles. 
Kale Zool in for his 15th touchdown run. And now the Eagles will try and go for two. The Eagles will be going for two, it appears. Two point after tries. They break the huddle so in their under center set. Smith takes a snap, hands the fakes to Zool up the middle, and he keeps it himself and is met in the backfield and will not get there. So, with 11.57 remaining second quarter, it is Eagles 12, Jays 6. I'll be back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. Whether you are combining, hauling grain, or heating your home, fuel powers the fall. When it comes to energy, you need a company who is trustworthy, understands your needs, and who delivers to you. A company who is local, reliable, and affordable. That company is Ag State. Ag State Energy is clean, comfortable, convenient, while staying competitively priced for our customers. Give Laura Sanguin or Seth Duff a call for all your energy needs. At Floyd Valley Healthcare, we want you to travel somewhere fun, not to a doctor's appointment. Specialists, specialty clinics, and outpatient services bring advanced skills and training and make diagnostics and treatment capabilities more accessible, keeping care convenient and close to home. Working in step with your healthcare team, specialists communicate and collaborate to provide you and your family the care that you need. To learn more about specialty services, talk with your provider or visit floydvalley.org. Welcome back. David Smith set to kick it away. Pearson and Ryder back deep for the Jays. Smith gets it away. Pearson catches it on the run at the 20, takes it over the left side, gets across the 30, down to about the 35. Pretty good starting field position for the Jays. It'll be first and 10 Galen at the 35 yard line. Down 12 to 6 here early second quarter. See if the offense can get that momentum back and keep that ball rolling. Had a very nice second possession here. Jays come out. Double stack wide receivers, both side. Pearson McCarty with the pistol. McCarty takes a snap, fakes the handoff, tries to throw it out to Ryder. Short hops Ryder out here. Takes a big hit in the backfield. By David Smith. Good read. Ryder had some room to run if he would have been able to catch the ball. Had some space for sure. But it'll be second and 10 at their own 35 for the Jays. Second down and 10 from the 35. We have four receivers. Pearson to McCarty's left. McCarty takes a snap, hands to Pearson up the middle, has a lane across the 40. Gets an arm tackle at about the 43. Kale had a head of steam there. Makes it third and manageable, though. So it'll be third and about one or two. Ball at the 44. Once Kale gets that ball, he's hitting the hole hard tonight so far. McCarty under center, takes a snap, does a quarterback keeper, gets across the 45, has enough for the first down, it appears. It'll be first and 10 at the 46. 11-15 remaining here, second quarter. Yep. No need in complicating things by trying to roll around and give it to somebody else. You just went straight forward. We have four receivers. Pearson to McCarty's right. Takes a snap. Hands to Pearson up the middle. Has a nice lane. Gets up to about midfield. Maybe just short. It'll be marked at the 49. I don't know if you're Coach Schindler tonight, though. you got to be happy so far with the running game. Jays break the huddle. We got the double stack receivers, both sides with the pistol in the backfield. McCarty takes the snap, hands it to Pearson up the middle, has a lane across the 50. 
Gets down through the 45 of West Hancock and gets down to about the 43. Another first down for the Jays. Going to be first and 10 at the 43. Coming up on 10 minutes to go here before half. Jays have four wide outs. Pearson to McCarty's left. Takes the snap, hands it to Pearson, who makes a cut at the line of scrimmage and goes up the middle. Hit behind a blocker there for a gain of about five. Gets inside the West Hancock 40. It'll be about second and five at the 38. Oh, yeah. Definitely getting behind the chains is not what you want to do against this West Hancock defense. Jays come out with their double stack receivers. Pistol formation. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls left, tries to throw. It does complete the pass to Ryder. Dives inside the 35. Will be third and short. Third and about two. We have a clock stoppage. It'll be about third and two. 9.02 to go before halftime. And side judge is talking with the head official. Third down and two. We okay, the, the officials don't decide to make any signals, so it'll be a third and two for the Jays. McCarty takes the snap, hands to Pearson, who bounces it out to the left and is met at the line of scrimmage. Nope, it'll be fourth and about three for the Jays. 8.55 to go, second quarter. Tough spot here. Too close to punt it. Too far to kick it. Let's see what Coach Schindler's got cooked up here on fourth and short. We have four receivers, pistol formation. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls to his right, flips it across the middle. Has it, it's intercepted, and he's across the 50. McCarty tries to get him. He's across the 40, the 30, the 20. Pearson's going to try to knock him out of bounds, and he does. Mitchell Smith intercepts the ball and returns it about 70 yards, down to about the one. There is a penalty flag back where the interception happened. So let's see what that penalty is. The Jays look excited. I'm not sure what happened, but we'll see. It was not caused by Mitchell Smith. Boy, this is going to be a huge call. What could this be? It is going to be. We have a chop block on the Eagles. So I'm guessing it'll still be Eagles ball. The official does say it's Eagles ball, but that's going to cause about 90 yards of field position flipping. So instead of a first and goal at about the one, It'll be first and 10 at about their own 12. Great play there by Mitchell Smith stepping in front of that pass. Yeah. Ran through an arm tackle by Cole McCarty at about the 50. Great hustle by Cale Pearson to get down there and stop him from getting into the end zone. <laughs> they have it at their own 15? 14? So what is that? 14, so that's an 85-yard penalty, 83-yard penalty? Yep. See if the Jays' defense can use that penalty. First and 10, Eagles, 8.20 to go before half. Oh, we have a false start. There is movement on the line. It will go against West Hancock, and that'll be a five-yard false start penalty. Movement on the Eagles will take down five more, and it'll be first down and 15. Yeah, I think it was Dylan Payne. It'll, it'll be first and 15 from their own nine-yard line for the Eagles. Good job. Uh, recognize that, I guess. 
Jay's defense have got to use this one to get the ball back. First and 15, back to their own nine. West Hancock breaks the huddle. We have a shotgun set here for Mitchell Smith. Takes the quarterback sneak, and he runs right over the left side, lowers the shoulder at about the 10, falls forward to about the 15, gets just back across the original line of scrimmage. It'll be second and nine. That kid runs hard. He lowers the shoulder and lets people know he's there. Yep. Eight minutes to go before half. Wes Hancock has the ball up 12 to six. It'll be second and nine at their own 15 yard line. Eagles come out, have the shotgun formation. They like to do the quarterback sneak out of this. Kick takes the ball. Hands it off to Nolan Smith. Kellen Smith, I'm sorry. Gain of a couple. Yep, it'll be third and about seven. Big couple plays here for both teams. Nolan Nillis on the stop for the Jays defense. Eagles break the huddle. Smith takes the snap, rolls left, flicks it back right, has a man out there. Oh, great play there. Zach Bukema had a lot of room out there to make a play, but Cale Pearson shoestring tackles him. That could have been a big play. He had a lot of room to run if he gets past that tackler. That was a big play. Eagles come out. They have a man deep. See if they try to fake it as well. I know they're deep, but we'll see. Snap's good. Kick is, kick is blocked. Great job there. I'm telling you, Mr. Westoff out there on the sideline told me this week that special teams was going to be huge. It'll be first and 10, Galen at the Eagles 11 yard line. Wow. 6-12 to go before half. Jays have a great scoring opportunity here. Have four receivers. Cole McCarty looks like he might have Jake Bogan in the backfield with him this time. He does. Hands it off to Bogan, who goes up the middle. Gets across the 10, down to about the 9. Bogan's had a nice couple weeks lately, running the ball, spelling Kale. Yeah, Galen's got to get points here. Can't start at the opponent's 10-yard line and not get anything. Jays come out four wide. Bogan is to McCarty's right. McCarty takes a snap, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, runs up the middle across the five, hit at the about the two. Falls down at about the one yard line. It'll be first and goal at about the one yard line for the Jays. They are. They have four tries to get one yard to tie the game up. Five minutes to go before halftime. They are in the shotgun. McCarty takes a low snap, fumbles the ball, gets back to where he can. Gets back to the line of scrimmage just short. That could have been a disaster. Low snap, not ideal. I'm surprised they're not just going under center and just running a sneak. They did it for a first down up here at midfield a little bit ago. There we go. Under center now. McCarty takes a snap. Oh, there's a penalty flag. 
It did look like there was some movement going forward. Clock's still running. I saw it. McCarty was leaning into the center. We have a false start on the Jays, so it'll be second and goal from about the six now instead of the goal line. It looks like they put it at about the five, so they might have just been real close to the end zone. They still have three downs to get in there. 4.15 to go. Before halftime, it's 12 6, third ranked West Hancock leads Galen Catholic. Got to put a few more seconds on the clock. Game clock here looks like might have been running a little bit extra. Got 4.20 to go before the half. Second and goal from about the five and a half for the Jays. McCarty takes a snap, fakes to Bogan, keeps it himself, makes a man miss, cannot get away from the second man. Brought down at the line of scrimmage, 33. Nolan Vasky held on, would not let go. Nice tackle there by the Eagles defense. Big couple plays here. Looks like Jeremy Schindler is probably going to want to call a timeout and talk. All right, we will be back and we will be back shortly after these messages. You're watching Fuller Digital. When it's time to choose a bank, the choice is easy. Prime Bank is the bank for you. With all the conveniences you want in a bank, including a mobile app and online account opening, Prime Bank also offers you pick checking with no monthly fees or minimum balances. And the best part is you get paid for everyday banking transactions. That's right. Prime Bank's you pick checking. We pay you for your everyday checking account transactions. Choose Prime Bank. It's the bank for you. Earn more your way with Prime Bank. Member FDIC. Sitzman Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done, when you need it done. Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build, and they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 3.33 to go. Jays are in the pistol. McCarty takes a snap. Throws it across the middle. Had a man there. Just a little bit behind Chance Calson. He was open. There was a shot there. So that'll bring up fourth and goal from the five for the Jays. He was there. Three twenty-eight to go before half. Yep, I don't see a kicking tee out there. Jays come out four wide. Cole McCarty takes a snap, rolls left. Looks like a potential option. Gets a block out there, cuts up the field. He's short of the goal line. He's brought down at about the one yard line. Great play there by the Eagles defense to keep him out of the end zone. Great effort there by McCarty. Just short. So it'll be a turnover on downs. It'll be first and ten Eagles at their own one or two. Yeah, I mean, Eagles are still backed up. You never know. They could get him for a safety. 321 to go. Jay's defense cannot give up points before the half. That would be a backbreaker. Yep, Jay's break the – or Jay's. Eagles break the huddle, and they jump. Jay's jump across the line. Got to hold your water. That's tough. 
get-go, see if you can buy yourself some breathing room. And they do, courtesy of a neutral zone infraction for Dale and Catholic. Five-yard penalty up to That'll be first six. and five for the Eagles. First down and five here for West Hancock. Under center on the wing tee is Mitchell Smith. Couple of Smith back takes back. the snap, hands it up the yes. middle. Zool gets across the 10, out to about the 13. There's a late penalty flag. We'll see what happens. It's a pretty late flag. We have unsportsmanlike on the Eagles offense. So it'll be a dead ball foul. So it'll still be first and 10. But it'll move the ball back to about the five. Ooh. At the I guess I thought it was first and 10, but it's going to be first and 17. At the own six. Okay, they are moving the sticks. I thought it would be a first and 10. That makes sense. That makes more sense. I was a little confused, but that makes sense. Fourth time in postseason history, these two squads have met up. Twice it has been in the quarterfinal round. Once it was for all the marbles. Eagles break the huddle. 3.16 to go before the half. Smith is in the shotgun. They like to do the quarterback power. He gets the snap, and he does do a quarterback power over the left. Breaks the tackle at the line and has a nice block, and he might go. He's at the 50. Chance Kelson's chasing him down. Gets it to him at about the 20. Great hustle there by Chance Kelson. Saved a 95-yard touchdown. But Mitchell Smith does take the ball down to the 15 of the Jays. So that's a gain of about 80. A broken arm tackle at the line of scrimmage, and he had nothing in front of him. Yep, Smith takes a snap, hands it up the middle. Nice misdirection there. Zool goes up the middle. Had a nice fake there to Kellen Smith. But Zool had the ball up the middle, gets down to about the five. Be second and short. Second down and one from the six-yard line of Galen Cadwick as West Hancock. Eagles break the huddle. Second and short at the five. Mitchell Smith takes the handoff, hands it to the up back up the middle. Zool gets down to about the two. Ball comes out late, but the official says he was down. It'll be a first and goal for the Eagles at about the three. 2.20 to go before half. See if the Jays' defense can bow up. Mitchell Smith in the shotgun. I look out for the quarterback power. Takes a snap. Does keep it himself over the left. Runs through an arm tackle at the goal line. And it goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Makes it 18-6. to 2.01 to go. For the half. Eagles will be going for two. Smith under center. Takes the snap. Fakes the handoff. Rolls left. Throws it out there. Has a man. Is it brought? It is brought in there by Kellen Smith for the two-point conversion. So with 2:01 to go until halftime, it is West Hancock 20 and Galen Catholic six. We'll be back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. MHI and Cuso of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help. And helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. 
that was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. The Monsignor Lafferty Tuition Foundation awards tuition scholarships to students that attend a Catholic school in the Diocese of Sioux City, including Galen and Spalding Catholic. By contributing to MLTF, donors are eligible to receive a 75% tax credit from the state of Iowa. There are no other charitable gifts that offer you a credit like that. It is also the perfect time of year to consider a gift of grain to MLTF. You can find more information at scdiocese.org under the Giving tab. Consider the gift of Catholic education. We're back, 2-0-1 to go. West Hancock with the kickoff. Pearson lets it bounce and fields it at about the 10. Comes out to his right, cuts it back up the middle. Bounces off a couple men, gets to about the 25. We have a little chippiness there at the end. It looked like 27 tried to grab him by the face mask and throw him down. No penalty, though. That's a little sketch, but oh well. It'll be first and 10 Jays at their own 25. 154 to go until the half. Anybody listening to this ball game that is interested, the... Lamar's Bulldogs are beating the Storm Lake Tornadoes 27 to nothing in the first half. McCarty has Pearson in the pistol. McCarty takes a snap, fakes the handoff to Pearson. He keeps himself, cuts up the middle, gets to about the 30. Got to go with some pace here. Only a minute 40 to go until halftime. Wes Hancock does get the ball to start the third quarter. So points here before halftime would be huge. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, keeps it over the left side, gets across the 35. Enough for the Jays' first down. Yep, stops until they start the, they set the change, and then the clock will go, so we got to get moving. Trips right, Pearson to McCarty's right. McCarty takes the snap, rolls right, flips it out to Chance Calson, who gets to about the 40 41, but stays in bounds, so the clock will wind. We have a stoppage. Jays will take a timeout with 58 seconds remaining. We'll be back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. Since the 1980s, Colbeck Incorporated has been a family-run business providing their customers with quality wood and feed grinding services throughout Northwest Iowa. Colbeck Incorporated knows that your time is valuable and they pride themselves on getting the job done in a prompt and reliable fashion. Local cattle feeders have been relying on Colbeck Incorporated hay grinding for 30 years and Brian and Kevin are proud of their partnerships they've built with their customers. Whether it's grinding, mulch, or hauling, call Colbeck Incorporated today and see what they can do for you. Marcus Lumber's showroom offers you an experience like no other. So when you're thinking of replacing your windows, Marcus Lumber is sure to help add clarity for the decision best fit for your home. Featuring Thermotech Premium Windows, they will show you quality, energy-efficient options. Made in the upper Midwest, Thermotech knows a thing or two about the temperature extremes that we face. So expect more energy savings, more beauty, and more comfort with Marcus Lumber and Thermotech. Motec windows. One minute remaining. McCarty takes a snap, hands it to Pearson over the right, met at about the line of scrimmage, maybe a gain of one. Jays get up quick. 45 seconds remaining until halftime. Trips far side. McCarty takes a snap, pitches it out to Pearson, who flips it back to Ryder, who throws it to Cole McCarty. Cuts 50 to 45, gets down to about the 43 of the Eagles. Nice little trickeration there. Jay's got to get a play going, though. Jay's got to run a play. Wasting a lot of time. 20 seconds to go. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, is hit as he throws, gets blasted in the backfield. 
16 seconds to go until half. Nolan Vasky came off the edge there and shut that play down quick. But realistically, you just got to look at this as how many plays can you get before the half ends? 16 seconds left in the half. 20 to 6. West Jays come out with their four wide and in the pistol formation. Be surprised if they ran the ball. Takes the snap, rolls left, flips it, just dirts that pass. Down to 12 seconds to go until half. Third and 10 for the Jays at the Eagles 43. Yeah, we have one timeout left. Yeah, so they can pretty much do whatever, but they're 43 yards from the end zone with 12 seconds, so it's got to be quick. That is very true. McCarty takes a snap. Fakes a counter, keeps it himself, cuts up the middle, gets down to about the 36 of the Eagles. Four seconds to go. It'll be fourth down for the Jays at the Eagles 36. Want to just stay? Yeah. There's only two seconds. You guys will get sick of the commercials during halftime while we go wander. With two seconds left in the first half. There'll be four seconds remaining. Jay's down 20 to 6. What could have been, though, just a few minutes ago, it was 12 6, and the Jays had the ball at the goal line. Yep. One play here, one play there. Jays come out, what, fourth and three? I mean, down in distance doesn't really matter, but for those of you that are curious, fourth and three. McCarty's got four wide receivers, takes the snap, drops back to throw, is grabbed in the backfield, and is brought down. Who is that, 53? Ethan King puts an end to the first half. So it is halftime here at Britt, Iowa. West Hancock at Bob Sanger Field. It is Eagles 20, Jays 6. We'll be back in a couple minutes to recap the first half. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. Whether you are combining, hauling grain, or heating your home, fuel powers the fall. When it comes to energy, you need a company who is trustworthy, understands your needs, and who delivers to you. A company who is local, reliable, and affordable. That company is Ag State. Ag State Energy is clean, comfortable, convenient, while staying competitively priced for our customers. Give Laura Sanguin or Seth Duff a call for all your energy needs. At Floyd Valley Healthcare, we want you to travel somewhere fun, not to a doctor's appointment. Specialists, specialty clinics, and outpatient services bring advanced skills and training and make diagnostics and treatment capabilities more accessible. Close to home.
this one um, is going to change. Welcome back. Got about a minute until the third quarter starts. It is West Hancock 20, Galen Catholic 6. Jay's missed a pretty solid opportunity there at the end of the first half, but showed that they belong here. Definitely hanging for the first 24 minutes. Definitely did not expect to come here and just get blown away. So let's see if they can keep fighting and see if we can make this a game here in the second half. So here we go. Time to just this one off for Galen Catholic as the J defense will already be tasked. We have Peterson and Smith back deep to receive for the Eagles. Uh, try and make sure they can uh, <coughs> keep themselves in this ball game if they get the ball back. Dylan Pecos, the right footed line drive kick taken by Peterson. Peterson tries to catch it, and fumbles it at about the 12, picks it up, and gets able was able to get it across the 25 or so. Jackson Peterson on the turn is picked up by number 54. First down, number 58, and six to go. Eagles will begin first and ten. Eleven fifty-six to go in the first half. We're in the second half. We're in the third quarter. It'll be first and ten. Eagles. Smith takes the snap, hands it up the middle, bounces around to about the thirty-two. Five yards for Zool. Zool, the ball carrier. Gabe Wilchin with the stop. Takes the snap, fakes it up the middle, and comes around the right side. Gets across the 35 to about the 36. It'll be third and short here. Smith takes the snap, hands it up the middle to Zool, gets across the 40. It'll be about the 41 yard line. It'll be first and 10 Eagles at about the 41. Smith takes the snap, hands it up the middle. Nope, keeps it himself. Gets brought down by McCarty. Gain of zero. Mitchell Smith is no uh, no easy player to bring down. 6'4", 210 pounds, and Cole McCarty wrestled him down pretty well. It'll be second and ten second at the 41. One yard line of West Hancock. Ten minutes to go here, third quarter. Smith takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls back deep, has a man, throws it deep. Definitely, probably, yep, there's the flag. Chance Carlson got back there, but ran in there and was going to be called for pass interference. Right, if you, if you would have located the ball, he had a shot at that one. That's probably actually not a bad play, really. Fifteen yards is a lot better than giving up a seventy-yard touchdown. I hear coaches say it all the time. I agree. The underthrown pass is the toughest to defend in the sport of football. Without About the 44-yard line of the Jays. Smith in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Quarterback power over the left. Breaks through the gap, and he is across the 20, and he is going to walk into the end zone untouched for the Eagles' touchdown. 44-yard touchdown 
Mitchell Smith, first and 44 yards out. And he's going to be on the board again. The Eagles will be going for two, no doubt. So Mitchell Smith, eight carries, 166 yards, two rushing touchdowns. I now see why the Eagles average nearly 10 yards per carry as a team. They, they come out with a shotgun formation. Effortlessly. Two point conversion. Smith takes the snap, does a quarterback power over the left, breaks through a couple tackles, and is short. Is brought down. So with 9.54 to go, third quarter, it is Eagles 26 and the Jays 6. We'll be back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. Since the 1980s, Colbeck Incorporated has been a family-run business providing their customers with quality wood and feed grinding services throughout Northwest Iowa. Colbeck Incorporated knows that your time is valuable and they pride themselves on getting the job done in a prompt and reliable fashion. Local cattle feeders have been relying on Colbeck Incorporated hay grinding for 30 years and Brian and Kevin are proud of their partnerships they've built with their customers. Whether it's grinding, mulch, or hauling, call Colbeck Incorporated today and see what they can do for you. Marcus Lumber's showroom offers you an experience like no other. So when you're thinking of replacing your windows, Marcus Lumber is sure to help add clarity for the decision best fit for your home. Featuring Thermotech Premium Windows, they will show you quality, energy-efficient options. Made in the upper Midwest, Thermotech knows a thing or two about the temperature extremes that we face. So expect more energy savings, more beauty, and more comfort with Marcus Lumber and Thermotech. Tech windows. David Smith set to kick it away for the Eagles. Landon Ryder and Kale Pearson set to return it for the Jays. The ball's away. Pearson receives it at about the 15, goes across the middle, tries to get out to the outside, is brought down at about the 17 or so. Nice coverage there by the Eagles. It'll be first and 10 Jays at about the 17. 9.50 to go, third quarter. Galen's got a hole to dig out of on the scoreboard and on the field with their first offensive possession of this third quarter. Down to third rank, West Hancock, 26 to 6. First and 10 for Galen. Jays come out. Cole McCarty's got four receivers, double stacked on each side. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, throws it out to Pier the Ryder. Nope, sorry. Brant Klein with the catch on that one. Gain of a few. Pass is complete to McCarty to Klein. Gain of about three to bring up second down seven. It'll be second and seven. McCarty is in the shotgun, takes the snap, hands it to Pearson, who goes up the middle across the 25 to about the 26 or the 27. It'll be third and about two or three. Nice run there up the middle. But he got six yards and bring up third down and one for the Jays. Third down and one for the Jays, 8.55 to play in this third quarter. Jays have four wide. McCarty has Pearson to his right. Takes a snap, fakes to Kale, keeps it himself across the right, gets across the first down, across the 40. Brought down at about the 40. Nice run there by Cole McCarty. Starting with some good movement of the football. Be first and ten Jays at their own forty. Gives it to Pearson up the middle, who takes a big hit at about the forty-two. Falls forward to about the forty-three. Pearson with about three with about four yards up the middle. Mark him down about the forty-four. Be second at about six. Eight minutes to go, third quarter. Six for the Jays. As they just need to continue to ground and pound. That's a four-yard carry for the Jays. 
<laughs> Jays break the huddle. Four wide receivers. They have a double stack receiver on each side. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, throws it out to Ryder, who is short hopped, and we have a flag. McCarty took a big hit there by David Smith. The official must not have liked how he took him down. Personal foul, roughing the passer. That helps the Jays' offense. Some of the fans aren't very impressed, but the Jays will take it. Be first and ten Jays at the Eagles 41. McCarty takes the snap, hands to Pearson, who bounces or dances in the backfield, gets across the 40, gain of about one. 7.30 to go, third quarter. Eagles defense has done well to keep the Jays mostly out of the end zone. Giving up some yards on the ground, but not much to show for it on the scoreboard. McCarty takes the snap, hands to Pearson, tries the left. It gets a nice block there on the edge, gets across the 40. Late flag coming in. Probably a hold. Holding on the Jays. Oh, Pearson came up lame a little bit. Limping. Oh no, and Pearson comes up limping on the play as well. And he goes down. Last thing the Jays need on the night like tonight. We will step aside for a minute or two for the injured player. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help. And helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. The Monsignor Lafferty Tuition Foundation awards tuition scholarships to students that attend a Catholic school in the About 13 to go here for We're back. Kale Pearson got help off the field by the help of the West Hancock trainers, so we thank them for that. The hold brings it back only a few yards, so it's second and about 13, not second and 20. McCarty takes a snap, rolls right, flips it out to a man who's got Pecos wide open, who gets across the 20, sorry, the 35 down to about the 30. Gets to about the 29 of the Eagles for a first down for the Jays. Be first and 10 Jays, that's a nice little play action rollout there. Little a nice ripple. A tight end flat pass, uh, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call to describe it. It is a thing of beauty. It'll be first and ten, Jays. At the West Hancock 29. Galen Catholic down 20 with 6:15 to go in the third. McCarty takes the snap, fakes it to Bogan, who keeps it himself. Slip down at about the 30. Six minutes to go until the fourth quarter. Jays come out with their four receiver look. Two stacks. Bogan behind McCarty. McCarty takes a snap, pulls it, throws it out to Ryder. They say it was incomplete. Must have been a forward pass. I know Ryder's going to be upset with himself that he missed that one. He brings up third and about 11. 5.29 to go third quarter. Since their state championship run in eight man in 2015. So we'll talk with Coach 
Jays come out with their four receivers. Bogan is to McCarty's right. McCarty takes a snap, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself over the right, gets across the 30. Looked like he might have had a seam there, but is brought down at about the 26. It'll be about fourth and six. Oh, I lied. Spots at about the 28. It'll be fourth and nine. Coming up on five minutes to go, third quarter. <coughs> Jays come out, four wide. Bogan and McCarty in the backfield. McCarty takes a snap, looks to throw, has a man across the middle. Pacus catches it. And he gets tackled at about the 15, so that's enough for the first down for the Jays. Nice throw and catch there by McCarty and Pacus. We have Cale Pearson, it looks like, checking back into the game, so that's good news for the Jays' offense. Four wide receivers. Pearson is to McCarty's left. McCarty takes a snap, rolls left, has a pitch out to Pearson, who tries to cut it upfield, gets across the 15, down to about the 14 or 13. Definitely tell that Kale's a little lame, but he's out there gutting it out. It'll be about second and nine for the Jays. Four minutes to go, third quarter. Eagles lead this one 26 to 6. <coughs> Jays have the double stack receivers. Pearson to McCarty's right. McCarty takes a snap, fakes the handoff, keeps quarterback to the right, cuts it up the middle across the 10, down about the 6. It'll be third and about 2. Nice gain there on second down to make it third and short. It's a pickup of 6 yards for Cole McCarty. And that is going to bring up about a third and three. Jay's got about two plays to get three yards. Jay's take the snap, hand it to Pearson, who tries to go up the middle. Not much there. Gets down to about the six. That'll bring up fourth at about three. Two forty nine to go. See what the Jays can cook up here on fourth and three. Got the ball down at about the Eagles seven. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls right, has a man as he is there. McCarty to Dylan Pacus for the seven yard touchdown on fourth down. That'll make it 26 to 12. I don't know. It looks like that little slants there all night. See what the Jays do here. Jays are going to go for two. They have the four wide receivers. Pearson in the backfield. McCarty takes the snap, hands it to, oh, fakes it to Pearson, keeps it himself, keeps it to the right, and is in for the two-point conversion. So with 2.32 to go, third quarter, Eagles lead the Jays 26-14. We'll be back in one minute. You're watching 4 Digital Solutions. When it's time to choose a bank, the choice is easy. Prime Bank is the bank for you. With all the conveniences you want in a bank, including a mobile app and online account opening, Prime Bank also offers you pick checking with no monthly fees or minimum balances. And the best part is you get paid for everyday banking transactions. That's right. Prime Bank's you pick checking. We pay you for your everyday checking account transactions. Choose Prime Bank. It's the bank for you. Earn more your way with Prime Bank. Member FDIC. Sitzman Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done when you need it done. 
Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build. And they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 712-540-2731. Number one, back to Bridge. Catholic finishes off 14 play. 82 we're back in Britt, Iowa, West Hancock against Galen Catholic. We're at Bob Sanger Field. The Jays just cut into the lead. There's 2.30 to go third quarter, and it is Eagles 26, Jays 14. Jays scored on a fourth down. Oh, they got a little bit of a squib onside kick going here. See who can get on it. Just a little too far. The Eagles are able to get on it at about the 32. That was a nifty little attempt, but just a little too far on the execution. So it'll be West Hancock ball at their own 30. Yeah, 28 yard line or so. That seven minute drive is wonderful, but you still trail by two scores. Can Galen Catholic get a stop on defense? First and 10 from the 28. The Jays ship their Shotgun defense. formation. There's a quarterback power over the right. Gets across the 30, down about the 33. Gain of five or six there for the Eagles. The Jays have stopped West Hancock. West Hancock, I'm sure now, probably try to bleed the clock a little bit while they have possession of it. Oh, and the shotgun formation, but there must have been some movement out here on the right side. We have a false start on the Eagles offense. The second and nine. See if the Jays can stiffen up here and get off the field on defense and get the ball back. Shotgun formation. They like the power out of that. Yep, he goes over the left side. Breaks through the main line and is brought down by Cole McCarty or he might have been out the gate again. It is enough for a West Hancock first down, though. So it will be first and 10 West Hancock at their own 39-yard line. 139 to go third quarter. They are in the shotgun formation again. He keeps it again. He tries to go up the middle, and he's met in the backfield by the Jays that time. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. They give him a gain of one to about the 40. Best case scenario for the Jays here is they stop West Hancock on this set of downs. One minute remaining here, third quarter. Eagles with the ball, second and nine at their own 40. 12-point lead for the Eagles. They have a bunch to the right, shotgun. He rolls out to his right, cuts up the field. It gets across the 50. Brought down by the last line of defense there by Landon Ryder and Chance Carlson, or he'd have been off to the races. It'll be first and 10 Eagles, just across midfield at the Jays 49. Coming up on about 30 seconds remaining, third quarter. 12 carries, 194 yards, and two rushing scores unofficially tonight. Shotgun formation. Look for the quarterback power. Smith takes it, and he actually hands it off this time, and he has a great hole. Nice run in there. The 36. Creighton Kelly. Nice little burst there for him. Ten seconds to go here, third quarter. We'll see if the Eagles try to run under the play. It doesn't look like it. So after three, Eagles marching. Up 26 to 14 on the Jays. We'll be back in one minute. You're watching Four Digital Solutions. 
Cherokee Giant Cuso of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help, and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. The Monsignor Lafferty Tuition Foundation awards tuition scholarships to students that attend a Catholic school in the Diocese of Sioux City, including Galen and Spalding Catholic. By contributing to MLTF, donors are eligible to receive a 75% tax credit from the state of Iowa. There are no other charitable gifts that offer you a credit like that. It is also the perfect time of year to consider a gift of grain to MLTF. You can find more information at scdiocese.org under the giving tab. Consider the gift of Catholic education. Welcome back to Britt, Iowa here at Bob Sanger Field. Start of the fourth quarter. West Hancock has a 26 to 14 lead on the Galen Catholic Jays. West Hancock has the ball in Galen Catholic territory. They're at the 42 or so. They will have a second and short here to begin the fourth quarter. Shotgun formation. The Eagles like to do quarterback power out of this. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, and keeps it himself up the middle. And he breaks through to the 20, the 10, and the end zone. So there's Mitchell Smith with about a 42-yard touchdown to start the fourth quarter for the Eagles. Nice little scamper there by the quarterback. Unofficially tonight, 13 carries, 235 rushing yards, and three. Wes Hancock will go for two. Two point try up coming here for They're in the shotgun with two receivers to the near side. Smith has a man in motion, takes the snap, drops back, looks left, pump fakes, throws it into the ground in the back of the end zone. So, 11.52 to go here, fourth quarter. Eagles lead the Jays 32 to 14. We'll be back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. Since the 1980s, Colbeck Incorporated has been a family-run business providing their customers with quality wood and feed grinding services throughout Northwest Iowa. Colbeck Incorporated knows that your time is valuable and they pride themselves on getting the job done in a prompt and reliable fashion. Local cattle feeders have been relying on Colbeck Incorporated hay grinding for 30 years and Brian and Kevin are proud of their partnerships they've built with their customers. Whether it's grinding, mulch, or hauling, call Colbeck Incorporated today and see what they can do for you. Marcus Lumber's showroom offers you an experience like no other. So when you're thinking of replacing your windows, Marcus Lumber is sure to help add clarity for the decision best fit for your home. Featuring Thermotech Premium Windows, they will show you quality, energy-efficient options. Made in the upper Midwest, Thermotech knows a thing or two about the temperature extremes that we face. So expect more energy savings, more beauty, and more comfort with Marcus Lumber and Thermotech Windows. And we're back here in Britt, Iowa at Bob Sanger Field. The Eagles just had a 41-yard touchdown by their quarterback, Mitchell Smith, to take a 32-14 lead. It was a great one. We have David Smith here to set it to kick it away to the Jays. He lets it fly, and it is caught at about the 10, and there's a reverse to Ryder who gets across the 20. He spins off a man to about the 25 or so. Wyatt Koontz was back there to catch the, pat or the kickoff and hand it to Ryder. Nice job there, freshman to senior. It'll be first and 10, Galen at their own 25 yard line. Well, let's see what Galen can draw up here. Uh, Galen's not known for a quick score offense, but we're down by 18. We're going to need to do something quick. We have a man down on the sideline. That would make sense, though, as he was tackled out of bounds over there. We'll step so away. We'll be back in 30 seconds. 
Whether you are combining, hauling grain, or heating your home, fuel powers the fall. When it comes to energy, you need a company who is trustworthy, understands your needs, and who delivers to you. A company who is local, reliable, and affordable. That company is Ag State. Ag State Energy is clean, comfortable, convenient, while staying competitively priced for our customers. Give Laura Sanguin or Seth Duff a call for all your energy needs. At Floyd Valley Healthcare, we want you to travel somewhere fun, not to a doctor's appointment. Specialists, specialty clinics, and outpatient services bring advanced skills and training and make diagnostics and... It's not brighter, which is good news, but we still, we still don't know who the J is. Down. Not sure who was hurt over there, but we're back to action. McCarty takes the snap, hand, fakes the handoff, throws it out to his right. Chance Callison making a sliding attempt behind him, but it was unable to pull it in. Great shot. Can't say words. Great try, I guess. I wasn't going to say that word, but great try there. Attempt, thank you. Great attempt there by Chance to try to pull that one in. But it'll be second and 10, Jays. It'll be double stack. Pearson's in the backfield. Gets the ball. Gets across the 25 to about the 27. It'll be third and seven or so for the Jays. Jays come out of the huddle. <coughs> Have four wide receivers. Pearson's in the backfield with McCarty. Takes a snap, fix handoff, looks to throw over the middle. Has a man up there. Oh, just overthrows Chance Calson there. So it'll be fourth and about seven. 10.56 to go here, fourth quarter. Chance had a chance there. I mean, I didn't mean to say that like an idiot, but he had an opportunity there. Just slightly overthrew him. Jays have seven seconds on the play clock. Let's see if they try to do something quick or they call a timeout. Snap is there. We have penalty flags everywhere. Landon Ryder with the fake punt and is brought down in the backfield. We have penalty flags. I'm guessing there was some kind of illegal motion or an illegal formation. Looks like an illegal shift. On the Jays, so the Eagles are going to decline that one and keep the ball where they're at. So it'll be first down, West Hancock at the Jays, 37. We've got 10.54 to go here in the ball game. We got under center for Smith. Takes the snap, hands it up the middle. Bakes up, bounces off a couple of tacklers. That one is Kale Zool running hard there. Gets down to about the 14 yard line of the Jays. This running game right up the middle definitely wears down a defense after so many attempts. Rotational players, yeah. Especially when you're a small team with not very many rotational players on the line. We have Zool up the middle again. Again of a couple. Those guys out there are fighting, though. They're not going to lay down. Got to give them credit for their effort. Gabe Wilchin makes the play on the defensive side. Coming up on 10 minutes to go, fourth quarter. West Hancock comes under center with Smith. Takes the snap, hands to Zool again up the middle. Oh, Jackson Peterson has the ball on that one. 
These guys are wild with their play action in the backfield. I can never even see who has it half the time. Nice carry there by Jackson Peterson over the left side for the touchdown. The Eagles will go for two. Ooh, they're going to try the PAT. Number 96. Number 95. Oh. Mitchell Smith catches the bad snap. It's brought down in the backfield by Cale Pearson. Brody Balzer was going to attempt the PAT, but the bad snap ended that one before it started. So 9.47 to go. It is Eagles 38, Jays 14. We'll be back in one minute. You're watching Floor Digital Solutions. All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. AgriVision Equipment and Exact Emerge Planner Technology is here to help you maximize your yield and efficiency, along with a proven 8 bushel per acre yield advantage because of the pinpoint accuracy of seed depth and placement. You can cover 50 acres per hour without compromising your stand. We know the risk of planting outside the optimal planting window, so don't let the weather control your bottom line. When you partner with AgriVision Equipment, you get access to the best service and technology support in the area. And visit any one of our 15 locations today. We're back here. Bob Sanger Field. Kick is away. Wyatt Kuntz catches it at about the 20. He runs it up the left, makes a couple cuts. Gets across the 30. Out to about the 33. Nice job there by Wyatt. Penalty flag, though. We have a push. I mean, that looks like an interference of some kind, but I don't know what that symbol is. But there we go. That was different. I don't know. Something happened on the Jays' return, so they're going to push the ball back to about the 20. That was interesting. Yeah. So it'll be first and 10 Jays at about the 20, 21. Four wide receivers. McCarty takes the snap. Fakes the handoff, keeps it himself over the right side, running hard. Gets out across the 25 to about the 27. Nice run there by McCarty. Bring up about second and six, second and four. 9.25 to go here in the fourth. Jays come out of the huddle. Four wide with the pistol formation in the backfield. McCarty takes a snap. Hands to Pearson up the middle who's met at the line of scrimmage. Dropped for no gain. Kale's out there gutting it out. You can definitely tell he's compromised. But he's out there trying his best. That's all you can ask for. Third and about five. 8.30 to go for the game. McCarty takes a snap, fakes the handoff, looks to maybe throw, but runs up the middle across the 30. Down to about the 31. They're waving to pause the clock, so we're going to look at it. We're going we're to come out for a measurement here. We're going to see. <laughs> Even if he's short, I'm going to guess the Jays are going to try to go for this one down three possessions. Third-ranked West Hancock, Lincoln, Galen Catholic, 38-14. The Eagles try to go for their 
sixth <clears throat> trip to the Unidome in the last seven years. They pull the stick. Looks like it is a first down just by the nose of the football. Nice effort there by Cole McCarty. <coughs> Jays will keep the ball for a first down at the their own 31-yard line. We have 8.19 to go here in the ball game. Jays are playing for pride at this point. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls left, flips it out to Chance Carlson, just off his hands. Bring up second and ten. 8.03 to go, fourth quarter. The Eagles, the number three ranked team in the state, but by virtue of being a district runner up, Jays have four wide receivers. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself over the left, breaks the tackle, gain of a few, out to about the 34 yard line. 7.50 to go, fourth quarter, third and seven for the Jays. Jays come out with four wide. Bogan's in the backfield with McCarty. McCarty takes a little bit of a high snap, rolls to his right, has a man out there. Is that Chance Carlson? Yep, he brings it in at about the 39. Gain of about five. It'll bring up fourth and about three or so. Seven minutes to go here, fourth quarter. And, of course, uh, postseason pairings for the next round and the quarterfinals. Uh, of course, they'll at least pause. That's going to come out at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Jays take the snap, fake the handoff, keeps it himself up the middle, running hard as Cole McCarty gets across the 45 to about the 46. That'll be a Jays first down. Boys are still playing hard. It'll be first and 10, Jays at their own 46. 6.40 to go. Four wide receivers. Bogan with McCarty in the backfield. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff to Bogan, rolls left, cuts it up the middle, gets across the 50. Gets upended at about the West Hancock 47. Nice run there by Cole. It'll be second and about three or four. Coming up on six minutes left in the ball game. Jays just crossed into West Hancock territory. Four wide receivers. McCarty takes a snap, hands the Bogan up the middle, gets across the 45, down to about the 41. It'll be a first down for the Jays. Good run for Jake Bogan. To be first down for the Jays at the 41 and a half or so of the Eagles. 5.50 left. We have four wide receivers. McCarty takes a snap, fakes the handoff, flips it out to Ryder, who gets across the 40 down to about the 37. Nice gain there on first down for the Jays. Be second at about five. Jays have four wide receivers. Bogan is to McCarty's right. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself up the middle, gets across the 30. Down to about the 29-yard line of the Eagles. Cole's still running hard. First and 10 Jays at the Eagles, 29. Got 5.15 remaining. 
Four wide receivers, one back. McCarty takes the snap, hands the Bogan over the left, gets across the 30, throws a flag. Probably a hold or a face mask. Clock stops at with five minutes remaining. Exactly. We have a hold on the Jays. I was wondering if Wes Hancock got a little too high with their tackle. Jay Bogan was wrapped up a little high, but the holding penalty was there. Gonna push the Jays back ten yards. Ten-yard penalty from the line of. It'll be first and twenty for the Jays at the Eagles' forty. Thirty-nine. Sorry. Five minutes to go here, fourth quarter. Yes, that was the new rule change this year. The penalty occurs in the backfield. The hold goes from the line of scrimmage. Jays come out four receivers. Bogan in the backfield. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls right. Avoids a tackler, gets met in the backfield by 55, Caden Douglas for the Eagles. It'll be second down for the Jays at the 36, 427 to go, fourth quarter. Only one team has held them to fewer points this season. Jays have four receivers, one back. McCarty takes a snap, keeps it himself over the left side, gets across the 30, down to about the 28. Gets back to around the original line of scrimmage. Four minutes to go here, fourth quarter. Jays have about third and nine. But outside of the number one team in the state, this is the best game that uh, West Hancock has gotten. They played Lake Mills when Lake Mills was ranked number nine in the state. Bulldogs 41 to nothing. Jays have four wide receivers. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff in the backfield, throws it out to Pecos. Gets inside the 25 to about the 23. Be fourth and short, fourth and about four. There's some chatter up in the booth. Silver linings and everything, but the Jays currently have held the Eagles to what they say, the second least points they've had all year. And the least was against the number one team in Class A. So, not a win, but that's definitely something you can hang your hat on going forward. Jays have fourth down. We have a stoppage of play. Timeout Eagles. We have 2.56 to go fourth quarter. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. Reliance means being dependable. And when it comes to comfort in your home, you want Reliance from a place you can trust with a product you can count on. That's why Marcus Lumber stocks Reliance brand water heaters. Because with Reliance in the name, it's the brand you can trust. Marcus Lumber has been stocking and installing Reliance water heaters for decades. So choose the name you trust for your home. Choose Marcus Lumber and Reliance water heaters. The outcome of the game by Welcome back to Britt. 2.56 to go, fourth quarter. Jays have a fourth and four at the Eagles 23 yard line. McCarty takes a snap, fakes the handoff, tries to keep it himself, but is met in the backfield. The Eagles brought a blitz by the safety there. That'll be a turnover on downs for the Eagles defense. It'll be first down and 10, West Hancock at their own 25-yard line. 2.50 to go here left in the game. So West Hancock gets the football. The Jays chewed up 7 minutes and 13 seconds off the clock, but could not score. Now West Hancock takes over at their own 25, up 38-14 on Galen Catholic. And just a few right Eagles lead 38-14. 2.50 left in the game. 
Come out under center. Smith takes the snap, bobbles the snap, loses the ball. They have a, and the Galen Jays do pick it up. So it'll be first down and 10 Jays at the West Hancock 24. There's no quit. Down three scores with less than three to go, but they're still fighting. Cheers to the boys out there for sure. Jays break the huddle. We got Pearson back out there with McCarty in the backfield. Four receivers. McCarty takes a snap, hands to Pearson, who looks for a hole at the middle, gets to about the 20. Oh, I guess he somehow figured out how to get down to about the 17. The mound of bodies was at the 20, and Kale ended up at the 17. So nice second effort there by Kale. It'll make it second in about three or four. 2.20 to go here in the fourth quarter. Jays break the huddle with the pistol. Double stacked receivers. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, flips it out to Ryder through his hands. It'll be third in about four. Kind of get a little nervous on this. Exactly two minutes left stats. in the game. If it's just the slightest bit backwards, that's a live football. <laughs> if it's not caught. Two minutes to go here in regulation. Jays down 38-14 to third-ranked West Hancock. It's third down and three for Galen Catholic from the Eagle. Jays have shotgun. Pearson is to McCarty's right. Four wide receivers. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself up the middle. Gets Oh, loses the football. Gets down about the 10 and loses the ball. Let's see what they say. They say West Hancock has the ball. That's unfortunate. And no signal's been made yet, so we won't jump to conclusions yet. There is now a conference of the officials. We have a uh, stop. Is now they're saying it's Jay's ball? Okay. Well, it, the official initially said that it was Wes Hancock's ball, but it'll be first and 10 Jays at the 10 yard line. First and goal. Jays at the 10. Let's see if they can punch some points in here. McCarty takes the snap, hands it to Pearson up the middle, gets into about the five, and is still fighting. Gets down to about the four. To be second and goal, Jays. A minute and a half to go here, fourth quarter. Stoppage of play. Kale Pearson's coming out of the game. He's giving his all here tonight, but Jake Bogan comes in to spell him. 110 to go here, fourth quarter. Four wide receivers, and Bogan has in the backfield. McCarty takes the snap, hands it to Bogan, who breaks his tackle in the backfield, but cannot get away from the second guy. Brought down at the four, number seven, Kale Zool with the stop for the defense. It'll be third and goal. 45 seconds to go here, fourth quarter. Jays have four wide, Bogan's in the backfield. McCarty takes a snap, hands the Bogan up the left side. He bounces off a guy. Is that the, about the two or the one? Gets down to about the, it'd be fourth and goal with 25 seconds left. See what the Jays do with the clock. They come out, 15 seconds remaining. Fourth and goal from the two. McCarty takes a snap, fakes to Bogan, rolls right. Cuts it up the middle himself and gets into the end zone with six seconds remaining in the game. So K Cole McCarty with a two-yard touchdown run. Makes it 38-20. to 20. West Hancock. It's a great way to end the year for the Jays offense, though. Getting into the end zone. 
38 against the number three team in the state. With five seconds left to play in regulation. Again, in the grand scheme of the game, it won't make a difference. But Galen Catholic's, Galen Catholic's going to go for two here. They're going to be a tough team next year. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, looks to throw, has a man in there. It is completed to Landon Ryder is able to bring that in for the two-point conversion. So with five seconds left here, fourth quarter, it's 38-22. West Hancock will probably just stay here. There's only five seconds left. You guys are probably sick of the commercials at this point. Like I said a little bit earlier, there's no real moral victories per se, but Galen hung with the number three team in the state the whole game pretty much. A couple plays here and there. That block punt in the first half that they were unable to turn into points was a 14-point swing at least. Goal line stop, yep. Bob Sanger Field here in Britt, Iowa. Five seconds left. Number three, West Hancock, has a 38-22 lead on the Galen Catholic Jays. Dylan Pake is set to kick this one away. Five seconds to go, and Dylan Pecos. Pecos has a little pooch kick as his fair caught at about the 28-yard line. Jackson Peterson. West Hancock will come out and just kneel the ball out, and that will be it. Yeah, hopefully they'll kneel the ball out. I think they're going to probably do that. Coming up tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, and Galen Catholic season will end. Some of the seniors on the Jays' defense are consoling each other. Nothing to be ashamed of. It's always maybe a little bit tougher in the sport of football. And coaches have talked about this. It never really hit me until they started mentioning it. Football really, truly is one of those sports you play for a last time. Wes Hancock comes out and does just kneel the ball. And that'll be it. Here from Britt at Bob Sanger Field, it is West Hancock 38 and Galen Catholic 22. Good luck to West Hancock in their next round game. Safe travels for everybody who traveled to the game and get home safe. This has been Hot Carl and Josh Schreiner. We will see you next time here for Fuller Digital Solutions.